The newly launched improved varieties introduced to cassava farmers in Kogi include Baba 70 and the Game Changer tips to be capable of producing high yields that will go a long way to improve the socio-economic well-being of the people and the country at large. Policymakers, private sector players, and other cassava stakeholders say the on-farm trials showed that these varieties are suitable for several agroecologies and are acceptable to farmers who are eager to improve their productivity and livelihood. We see the root of the Baba 70 and Game Changer is more better than uh, 419. I'm so happy with it. It's good for anything, gari, akbu, starch, and whatever, and amala, on which I'm going to take, I'm going to develop it in my own community. So we have been farming cassava, but with what I'm seeing and hearing now, I'm highly impressed. So as a farmer, the variety I'm seeing here today is, is an improved variety, and it has a very high yield compared to the ones we have been planting before. So my advice to all farmers from my local government across the state is to key into this, uh, this new variety. The varieties they have will give yields that are about four times what we have at home. That is the, the uh, what do you call it, the indigenous varieties, which means your income will be four times more. And so it is very important for farmers to know about it and adopt it. The varieties released in 2020 initiators confirmed were developed from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, founded by Next Gen Cassava Project. Uh, in our breeding program, we thought, what is the future of cassava in Nigeria? What are the needs? And we know that of, in the old days, there are varieties that were developed, but how can we bring things that are even uh, better than that? The new ones are much more productive uh, in terms of yield and dry matter, starch, and also from the disease and uh, pest resistance aspects. Uh, that's one of the key things why the new varieties will have bigger impact on the, the rural communities where their uh, economic thresholds are basically dependent on the agriculture and particularly in cassava. So these new ideas that the IITA people are bringing, we are so much appreciative of their activities. And uh, if the farmers can key into it, the farmers can adopt these new varieties, it will definitely change their economic status. The building an economically sustainable integrated cassava seed system, phase two project will work with farmers and the government to ensure that farmers have access to the varieties. Samples of food products made from the new cassava varieties were displayed. <laughs> From Obajana in Kogi State, Francis Udojo, NTA News.